woke up this morning pretty hungry, so I decided that I was going to get myself a beef burger. <laughs> From this little fella down here. He doesn't know what's going to happen to him. Hopefully he will be a Bambi cow and not put up too much of a struggle. Um, but you can only get yourself meat off a cow if you've got a hunting knife, which is stored in your tool belt here. And to cook it, you need basically a hatchet and some matches to start a fire. And cooked meat is the best food in the game. You get 800 blood back from it, and that is the only way, other than canned food, which gives you 200 blood, to actually raise your blood level whilst you're on your own. Oh, boy. Oh, you poor little cow. You okay? Enjoy that last munch. Because uh, you're going down. Now, I've taken out my uh, my secondary here. Because uh, different guns make different noise levels. I almost feel sorry for this cow. He's even wagging his tail at me. Um, and the, uh, the revolvers are a lot quieter than the AKM I've got in my backpack and the DMR. So, obviously, I don't want to let other players hear where I am and I also don't want to uh, let anybody uh, let the zombies know where I am either so if I just he's running away from me wow zero fucks were given by this cow I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm gonna name you Bernie and you're a valiant cow but you're gonna get gutted now uh, so you just roll the mouse and then gut the animal like this. It's always worth um, looking out while you're doing this, since I have just made quite a lot of noise. Obviously firing that gun, because this cow apparently was just rock hard. Um, and then if you go to gear, you can choose how much meat you get. Now, cows give 8 meat, which is pretty much the most you can get, and I think that should be fine. Uh, now you've got to go to a forest. Okay, let's try this tree. Okay, so I got, a, I got a pile of wood that time, which is good. Now I need to build my fireplace, which I'm going to do kind of in between these two trees so there's a bit of cover for me. And basically, you just right-click on the matches and create, and create your fireplace. There you go. And then if you uh, roll your mouse over it, you can um, light the fire as well. And then you can cut your meat. And they go straight back into your inventory after they've been cooked, so... I'm actually going to eat two of these pieces. I can hear some zombies now. Okay, so this is where um, you fill up the water bottle. Just watching the top of those buildings, where the, where the, the main threat for me is. Okay. So you've just got to look for little wells like this, and then um, I think, although I've never done this before, Oh yeah, you can. You can just fill it up. I'm just going to drink from the water bottle now and then uh, refill it up, which is always a good plan. And um, I always like to store things like this in my backpack. Just because if I ever need to get in and loot something really quickly, it's a lot easier to do it if it's just in your main inventory and you don't have to mess about with your backpack. So I've made my way back up to the, the power play station place above Cherno, and it is chopper evac time. Got a couple of guys to come and pick me up. This is one of them here just guarding the landing zone because this is a full server and as you saw on the map Cherno is just over the hill so this is pretty risky by any standard. Taking out this zombie just before, just before we get up there because they can hurt you while you're sat in the side. And I'm going to get flown all the way up to the northwest airfield, hopefully. I'm going to take the uh, the gunner seat here, I think. And off we go. And you, this may seem, if you've played Battlefield 3, a, a pretty standard thing, getting in a helicopter and flying somewhere, but in DayZ, these things are so rare. They are so rare in this game. Just taking a little while for us to move off, because uh, th there's something called Auto Hover. Which uh, which lets you land really precisely and, and things and and uh, he was just taking that off there. If you're wondering why the gun doesn't look like it's in my hand, apparently they've changed that for Armor Three. Uh, but you have to you have to repair the helicopter. I think there's only one spawn point for them. Now there used to be several, 
So you've got to be really lucky now to actually get in a helicopter or to get a flight. Oh. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> okay. That was a... I would that that was lag or a genuine backflip, but if it was a genuine backflip, that is pretty cool. <laughs> got a pro pilot here. Uh, I have cut out some of this um, just then. I knew I was going to do this when I did the commentary because uh, it's quite—it's about a two and a half minute flight up to the northwest airfield. You'll see on the map exactly where I am. Uh, but it is about, as I said in the last video, about seven kilometers up from uh, from the shore. So it is a long, long way. It takes about twenty minutes in a car to drive probably an hour on foot and two or three minutes in a helicopter and I'm gonna get out here and just see if I can get any other high-grade equipment in the barracks and these guys are gonna come and pick me up once I've, I've gone up and raided the barracks although I might wait until until night time to actually do that okay so you're probably wondering why I've looped round all this way right around here on the map and I originally wasn't going to do this I was going to go up to the barracks but then as you've probably just glimpsed as well through the trees I saw a helicopter crash site now, I don't know what's in there um, but basically these are these are sort of super weapon spawns spawned about the map and it's where you get really high grade military equipment supposedly because the helicopter has been flying over to deal with the zombie apocalypse and well, they crashed. Uh, they used to be in set locations, but now they're kind of randomly spread out throughout the map. And they spawn a heck load of zombies. I am not kidding. They spawn, like, a lot, a lot of zombies. So I'm going to see if I can get anything from there without getting myself killed, because obviously if anybody else sees this and sees zombies near it, I'm going to be a bit of a sitting duck. And as you can probably see just how many zombies are actually spawned in there. Uh, there is a a huge a huge number of them. And it seems, I don't know, um, this is recorded after the point .4 patch, it seems zombies detect you from a much further away than they used to uh, before that patch, so I don't know whether this is an intentional fix or something like that, but it's going to be quite... I mean, there is a lot of zombies there, jeez. I might be best switching out to my... Um, Switching out to my AKM. Um, as a sort of extra little tip, um, if you want to switch guns, it's always best, always remember that you want to switch from your inventory into the slot um, by pressing this arrow. Because if you put it into um, your back, if, you, if I put this into my backpack and I haven't got enough space, I've got zero space, then it's just going to destroy it. So, big tip there. I've actually just, I actually don't plan on attacking these zombies if possible. Let's see if I can just sneak through without any of them seeing me. I am very exposed here. I do not like this one bit. Somebody may have already looted this. There's a minigun on the ground. That's no good to me. Uh, if they have, I'm not too concerned. I mean, I've got everything that I really need. I know what this is. Um, some flares, that's near useless. Ooh, a PP-19SD. Hmm. I'm actually tempted to get that. Um, it's not particularly good at taking out players. In fact, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. It's not particularly good at taking out players, this gun. Oh, it's got no ammo. Oh, tell me I haven't just lost my AK. I haven't. That's good. That is fortunate. Well, I was going to say that's a good gun, but uh, if he's got no ammo, it's of course no good. Which usually means that somebody else has already looted this site here. Well, it had to happen, I guess. But now I am in a very dangerous position because I've got to check the dangerous side of the helicopter and... 
Anybody could have heard that. I'm very worried that that bison didn't have any ammo in it. So I'm going to check this fairly quickly. Yeah, this helicopter's already been looted. Unfortunately. I'd have loved that bison. I could have taken out all of those zombies silently. But my main interest now is getting the hell out of here because... Uh, the Northwest Airfield is full of players with sniper rifles and other good equipment because there's so many military spawns around here. It is up over in that kind of direction up there. Um, so I'm going to have to be very careful to uh, to get up there. But I'm going to go and check the barracks, I think. I've switched to a nighttime server. I didn't actually wait till night time this time. But I figured my plan to go up and check out the barracks would be more successful if I did it in the dark. Because that means only DMR players can pretty much snipe me and if they miss at least I've got a chance to get away. Whereas an AS-50 or an M107 which you can't use with night vision goggles is a one shot kill. Uh, it's very dangerous around here though. It can't really be understated. I mean not only are there zombies in all of these buildings but this is where everybody hangs out where absolutely everybody hangs out to to sort of snipe people and things so I'm hoping I definitely don't want anybody to know that I'm here at this point this is probably the most dangerous location I've been in today okay now somebody's put this cat wire in front you can pick up wire fencing kits and that's basically what this is um, so, usually I'd want a partner here to sort of guard my back, but I'm going to have to do this on my own, unfortunately. If you if you sort of shuffle up to it, there's an option to remove cat wire. You can, of course, look around while you're doing it. Love this animation. <laughs> Let me just switch back to my primary. This is very, very, very dangerous in here. I can't really understate it, because this is where everybody hangs out. So I'm just going to check out these rooms down. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is one of, if not the rarest weapons in the game. I have never seen that. I've never seen the M136 launcher. But unfortunately it's completely useless because it takes away your backpack and I think it uses armor piercing rather than high explosive rounds. So it is near useless. I'm just going to check it. I might actually just try it out, to be honest. I might try another M1 at 1014. That's a pretty good shotgun. Effective to about 100, 100 metres or so. Oh, and a PDW. I might actually go for that. Just for a change of scenery, I might actually go for that. A lot of people are going to say, why did you drop the revolver? It's better. And it is a little bit better, the revolver, but um, I just fancy to change, to be honest. And it looks pretty cool. I think this is it. It's like a little Uzi, and if you put silence rounds in it, it actually fires silence even though there's not a silencer on it. So, well, I say that. I say it fires silence. It fires loudly so other players will hear you, but to zombies it appears silenced if you put a silence on. Let's go for it. Let's just go for it. Okay. Radio then. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. Apparently it doesn't look like anything, but that... App I don't think this is actually going to do anything to the zombies. I'm rather scared about using this, to be honest. Okay. I might take my night vision goggles off to fire it, see what it does. Okay. Well, that was disappointing. Okay, guys, so... Basic rule is... I don't think I've got another one. Well, so now you know. Never ever pick up that gun, because it's freaking awful. Okay, so I'm just moving along the wall, which runs along the side of the airstrip, as you saw. There are a couple of other good buildings to check out, if you want some, um, some pretty decent military loot. There's the fire station at the top there. Oh, that zombie's aggroed me. Uh, which is this building, very similar to the one which I showed you in Electro. And there's, don't worry about that, that's um, that's just a grave, not dead bodies. And there's also the control tower for the airfield, which sometimes has decent military looting as well. 
So, as ever, I'm going to try and be... Oh, my goodness, there's a tent there. And it's got gear in it. This is not good. Let's see what's he, what's he put in it. Dragonov mags. I didn't even know there was a Dragonov in the game. Whoa, dear me. This is very risky if somebody's put a tent there. I'm going to close that door. I do not like stuff like this. Um, I'm just going to switch over to my AKM very quickly here. And I'm thinking perhaps that's... Okay, that... The M4A1... Did you hear that? Is that a zombie? Well, that's an interesting glitch. Kind of useful as well. You can, uh, you can lean through walls. I was going to take the M4, but uh, I prefer the AKM. If the, if the M4 has got a red dot sight on it, I would definitely take it. Um, but the AKM does more damage by default. Um, is that a foul? Oh my goodness! Okay. The foul is better than the AKM. 100% better. Why? Okay, it's not got much ammo in it. What are the clip size on this thing is? Wow, both the clips in it are nearly used. You know what, I'm just going to run with that anyway. But as I was saying about the foul, why it's better than the AKM. Um, the AKM fires full auto, so it might be a little bit better close up. You can only fire semi or burst with the FN foul. But it does 8,000 blood point damage, whereas the AKM only does 4,500. Unless you hit him in the legs, then it's slightly less. And you've only got 12,000 blood point health. So... It's a seriously, seriously good gun to say it's super accurate. So, I'm not planning on staying on the Northwest Airfield. I've actually called back in the, the chopper to, to pick me up because I fancy going across the Northeast Airfield. And uh, that's what you'll see in the next episode. Being strong, not giving up. It was just his place to hide. He pushed away the pain so hard. Disconnected himself from the person he loved the most. Sometimes when you win, you lose.